Hello Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have getting to know each other. As you reveal your most selves to each other, your bond deepens. Getting to know each other, it can represent the very beginning stages of relationship. But it could also represent a repairing energy between two people who already have a lot of history with one another. But we'll see what it's more so leaning towards. Let's focus on you first, Sag, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed, okay? How does Sagittarius currently view this relationship? So we have the devil, okay? We have the hangman. And then we also have the uh, page of swords. The bottom of the deck, we do have the... Um, Mm hmm we have the uh, ten of wands uh, we also have the four of cups but then we have the nine of cups to the high priestess I don't know who this human is that's showing up here for you it could be a family member it could be a friend but somebody's trying to quote unquote talk some sense into you um, in regards to what exactly if I had to guess it's probably a person in particular that this person is quote unquote trying to talk sense into you about um let's let's let me let me let me look a little bit more into this so that we have a rough understanding of what's going on here time more about the high priestess to the nine of cups I see true pair situation here between you and this person true pair situation you guys have a very strong and intense spiritual connection here with one another okay so it kind of looks like you've had your good and your bad moments here with this person but there's somebody close to you family member friend co-worker whoever have you right there's somebody that's close to you that doesn't necessarily approve of your relationship with this person and it's due to all of the stuff that this person has basically put you through in the past um it, it kind of looks like this is somebody that you still want to be with. It kind of looks like this is somebody that you still have a lot of love for. Um, you are acknowledging the fact that, yes, this person has put you through a whole lot. But, you know, you still want to be with them no matter what, right? But I feel like there's there's someone in your life that's kind of telling you, like, mm-mm. Sag, listen, Sag, listen. Like, you really need to leave this person alone. They're just going to hurt you again. Just leave them alone, Sag. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I say live your life the way that you want to live it you know what i mean because at the end of the day you got to wake up to this person you got to deal with this person and if this person makes you happy and you love them and you want to be with them go be with them you know what i mean because at the end of the day this person doesn't have to deal with them they don't have to wake up to them it's going to be you you know what i mean so i don't know dude like try your hardest to not let this human being get into your head i would say about your relationship uh with this person this, this, this to me kind of feels like a friend. This feels like a friend of yours that's trying to tell you like, yo, like you should really leave them alone. You shouldn't take them back. You shouldn't try to work things out. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You know what I mean? And listen, it is time from a place of, yo, listen, Sag, I care about you. I love you. I don't want to see you get hurt. This person that hurt you so many times in the past, don't do it. Don't do it, you know? But it looks like you love this person. You want to be with this person, you know? So... How does this person, um, I was going to actually say this, let me, let me rewind. We have the nine of wands out here, um, to the higher, the higher friend, the hair friend. Oh my God. Here we go. I've done so many readings that, you know, my, my, uh, vocabulary is all over the place all over the place jesus we have the high priestess and the hierophant out here is what i meant to say i don't feel like anybody in this situation is totally innocent okay i feel like you've done some things to disappoint this person and i also feel like this person has done some things to disappoint you we have the devil out here which is just basically implying that it took two to create this perfect storm that you guys created here with one another um so no i don't feel like you know you're totally innocent in this entire situation nor do i feel like they are okay um it just kind of looks like you know y'all have learned a valuable lesson y'all have realized where you guys went wrong and it kind of looks like y'all want to work things out and that's that's fine you know it's your life y'all do what you want with it you know we have the wheel of fortune to the uh, six of wands to the magician to the ten of pentacles out here so in regards to how this person's currently viewing this relationship with you this is somebody who feels really good about you and this relationship with you this time around so 
Yeah, it kind of looks like you guys are getting back together. I mean, we do have reconciliation. They feel really good about you in this relationship with you this time around. This is somebody who wants to manifest and create a very long-term, uh, stable relationship here with you. So, so far, so good. I feel like this person's intentions are good when it comes down to you. How does uh, Sagittarius feel? We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Three of Swords as well as the... Um, five of swords at the bottom of the deck we do have the two of cups we also have the sun and then we also have the uh king of cups man this person that doesn't want you to be with this person to the right of me i, I kind of see the two of you falling out with one another i do i see you pushing this person away i see you possibly getting into like a really big fight slash argument with them a lot of you are looking at this person like you just don't you just don't want to see me happy you just don't want to see me happy you just don't want to see me happy um I'm going to be honest, Sash, I don't feel like it's because of that. I feel like it's because of all the stuff that you've told this person about your relationship with this person to the right of me that's causing them to think and believe and feel like, yo, they're just going to hurt you again. Leave them alone. Stay away from them. Like, So, you know, just, just try your hardest to understand uh, Sagittarius that this person does want to see you happy they just don't want to see you get hurt not by the same person because it kind of looks like when this relationship went left here between the two of you they saw your pain they saw your suffering and they don't want to see you like that again so don't get into a fight with them don't get into an argument with them just know that this person loves you they care about you they just don't want to see you get hurt okay um I, I just feel like you're really angry and upset with them because your whole thing is is uh they see they don't love me they don't care about me they don't want to see me happy with this person and that's that is very far from them from the truth i do have to disagree with you on that i feel like you want this person to support you and whatever it is that you do and whoever it is that you decide to be with it just kind of looks like you don't really got that support from them and, and that's okay but don't look at them like ah oh, you don't care about me you don't love me and and blah you know what i mean because that's that that's so not the case you know what i mean um i just i just kind of feel like they just don't want to see you get hurt you know what i mean but I just don't agree with how you're looking at them. You're looking at them like, yo, you don't care about me. You don't love me. You don't support me and what and, and who I want to be with, which, no, I don't feel like they support you and who you want to be with. I'm not going to sit here and say they, they do support you and the person you want to be with, but it's because of the pain they caused you. And it's because they don't want to see you get hurt that they're telling you, like, yo, I don't agree with this. Like, I don't think you should be freaking doing this. You know what I mean? But it is your life. You do what you want with it. It kind of looks like regardless of what this individual has to say, you're going to go be with them either which way. So, you know, maybe eventually they'll come around. You know, that's another thing. That's a possibility. You know, uh, we have the nine of wands. We have the three of wands. And then we also have the uh, knight of cups. So in regards to how this person's currently feeling about this relationship, like I said, they really do love the way things are playing out here between the two of you. They have really good intentions when it comes on to you. They come off to me as somebody who does want to build towards a long-term committed relationship with you as well. I feel like they're trying their hardest to not allow fear to really get the best of them or even their history with you to get the best of them. Because like I said, it took two to tango here. You've done some things to disappoint them and they've done some things to really disappoint you. But either which way, it kind of looks like they still want this no matter what. So then there's that. All right, then there's that. What actions will Sagittarius take towards this person? Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, we got the Five of Wands, and then we also have the Five of Cups. Sag. I feel like you really want this person's support. I feel like you really want this person's support. I feel like you really want this person to have your back, man, when it comes down to this person that you want to be with, but they don't. And it really upsets. It really does upset you. It really does hurt your feelings. It does. It really does. But with the Six of Wands to the Knight of Swords to the Queen of Cups coming out here, it's not going to stop you. It's not going to stop you from being with this person because you want to be with them. You love them and they love you and y'all want to be together. You know what I mean? Just give it some time. Give it some time. You know, give it some time. Maybe eventually this person will come, you know, around, you know, just give it some time. Give it some time. Don't look at it as, ah, oh, they don't care about me. They don't want to see me happy. 
because it's not coming from that place. If it was coming from that place, I would have told you. It's coming from a place of, yo, Sag, I don't want to see you get hurt, you know? Um, and they think that this person to the right of me is going to hurt you again. Um, and they obviously don't want that to happen. And this is why they're telling you everything that they're telling you, okay? But I, I do feel deep down inside you really do want this person's, you know, support. You know, you want this person to have your back and just support the fact that you want to be with this person. You want to work things out with this person. But currently at the moment, you just don't have this person's support. And it does suck. But just, I don't know, let, 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 let some time play out. You never know. Anything can happen, you know, in a few months from now. Maybe eventually they'll come back around. But we have the King of Pentacles with the lovers to the, um, well, you know, this is another thing that y'all have to do moving forward, you guys, because it kind of looks like your friends and family members don't like them and their friends and family members don't like you. Like, they have people in their corner that do not approve of you and y'all being together. There's so many people in this equation, you know what I mean? Like, you got a bunch of people that don't approve of your relationship with this person, vice versa, you know? It is a true pair situation, though, between you and this person. You guys showed up as a king and the queen of cups, as well as a king and the queen of pentacles. You guys are very compatible to one another. You guys are definitely soulmates, but I just said this. I believe in the Taurus reading. I believe it was Taurus. Somebody might have uh, very strong Taurus placements, but... It just kind of looks like it's the two of you against the world at this point. At this point. Because they're not going anywhere. They want you. They want long term with you. They're not going anywhere. Regardless if their family members and, and their friends don't like the fact that you guys are together. They are not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. So your family members and friends might as well get used to them. And their family members and their friends might as well get used to you. Because... Y'all ain't going anywhere. Y'all are not going anywhere. So I don't know. I think that y'all just need to allow some time to kind of like play out here. And eventually maybe people will come around. Maybe they won't. But it kind of looks like you guys want to be with one another no matter what. So then there's that. Also, too, it just kind of looks like where you guys went wrong is that like every little fight slash argument that you guys would have with one another, you guys will always run to like your family members and friends and tell them all about it. And this is why they're not a fan of this person to the right of me. And this is why this person's people are not a fan of you because they would run and tell them about every little thing that would go on in this relationship, which ultimately caused, you know, this person's people to not basically like you which is something that you guys need to not do moving forward keep this relationship between the two of you if you guys have to vent to anybody um about anything talk to a random stranger talk to a therapist just don't run to your family members and friends because this is exactly what happens so that's something that you guys need to kind of do moving forward is just keeping this relationship between the two of you nobody has to be in your business you know what i mean like i said if you gotta vent to somebody vent to like a random stranger or like I don't know, like a therapist or something, you know what I mean? Not to your family members or friends, because this is exactly what happens, you know? I feel like this person has at least one person that's like, listen, I love you, I support you, go be happy. Um, but the, the vast majority of the people that they have in their life, no. They do not want this person with you. Why? Because their biggest thing is, ah, oh, like, what if, what if Sag turns around and hurts you again? You really want to go through that all over again? Nope, I don't like them. I, I don't approve of this relationship. And listen, at the end of the day, you guys are going to be with one another no matter, no matter what. It kind of looks like it's literally just y'all against the world at this point. Believe it or not, I feel like this experience is going to make the two of you a lot closer. A lot closer. I do. Because it literally is just y'all against the world. Alright? So, that's what I have for you, Saji. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.